All right, we are live, so we are flipping the script. Juan Carlos, welcome, my brother. Thank you, thank you so much. And yes, we are definitely flipping the script, Jeff. Uh, I wanted people on my audience to know who you were, you know. And I've been talking about you um, because I'm also a high believer in morning routines and all these other, you know, amazing things that what is it that makes people superhuman, right? And I wanted to just bring it down to earth because they people see you, they see you doing ice bath, they see you doing cold showers. I mean, three years meditating straight. That is, you know, insane consistency results that you're getting out of it. And I wanted to share that with my audience in my personal profile. And that's why I, I, I wanted to just, hey, guys, this is absolutely possible if you kind of just hear from somebody. And, you know, I've known you for, what, six months to a year or so. And we've been basically dealing back and forth. And we've been connecting and building a lot of good stuff together. And so... I think this is really important, especially as we're approaching the new year and this new 2021. And how in the heck do people sort of make things happen for themselves and get out of this stuck zone? And one of the biggest things is, well, if you keep repeating what you're doing every single day, you're going to get the same results. So you're bringing something to to this, you know, to to a way of thinking, to a way of doing. And I just wanted to share that uh, with with couple of people who are either on their way to become successful, becoming successful, or already successful, but want to amplify that, right? And let's talk about you being a number one best-selling author of your book called Rise, Fight, Love, Repeat, and Igniting Your Morning Fire. You know, you know, people hear these accolades and they're like, man, he wrote a book. It's number one best-selling. You have a podcast for Morning Fire for Entrepreneurs. And you interview high caliber entrepreneurs as well. And you've been consistently doing this for how long? I mean, you know, meditation for, for three years and, and some of the, you know, the cold bath, ice, uh, cold, cold shower for over two years. But a lot of what I try and put out there is just to show people it's possible. And I'll, I'll tell you, people just aren't aware of it, but up to 95% of what we do is driven through those habits and rituals. So Juan, you had mentioned staying stuck, right? That's why so many people stay stuck in, in this loop because the mind has a limited capacity. Anything it can automate and put behind the scenes, like a computer program that works behind the scenes, it will. And so many people aren't aware of that and they stay stuck. A day becomes a week, a week becomes a month. And next thing you know, a year's passed and they're like, how am I in that same spot? It's because they're not aware of the habits and rituals they do on a daily basis because it's it's in the subconscious mind. They're not thinking about what they're doing day in, day out. And that's just a powerful, powerful piece to understand. And when you hear up to 95%, I mean, that that just kind of floored me when I, I learned that through my, my own journey. Up to 95% of what you do can be automated and in your subconscious mind. So that, that's why you stay stuck and start small. Right. You mentioned New Year's is, is upon us. Start small. If you want to build something, don't if you want to go work out, for example, don't say, hey, I'm going to work out an hour and a half every single day for the entire year. The, the odds of you doing that are slim and none. Mm -hmm. Right. And if you start small, especially if you haven't been exercising, go for a walk for a week for five minutes. Right. Do that. Get that positive momentum from you accomplishing what you were set out to do. And when you take action, and you accomplish it, it motivates you more, it inspires you more, and it can kind of be a, a loop that you you get get going in and it just continues to feed on itself. So it's it's very powerful, but I just want to start with that statement that up to 95% of what you do can be driven through your habits and rituals. And that's a very important point for people to understand. Yeah, the image that comes to my mind is an iceberg, right? At the top, you see the tip of the ice, but, but at the bottom is this subconscious thing, the 95% that is so hidden that is it, man, what, why am I doing what I'm doing for the last 20, 30, 50 years, what have you, right? And it's just like, until you understand that you do what you do, not because it's your choice, but because it's somebody else's choice, but then you kind of like, with a, defining a morning ritual or a morning routine like you have, it's like you're putting a stop to the old habits, bringing in your new habits, and kind of developing from there. And that's the, the thing that, 
you know, I think of great visual as the iceberg. It's just like, it's going to hurt you in the long run. That's why you're stuck. That's why you're not getting these results that you want. That's why you're not in the condition that you're, that you'd like to be because of these old habits and patterns. And also on the compound effect that you talked about, you know, start small, you know, one step, a next day, a little bit more, a little bit more. And it's just a compounding effect. And at the end of the day, I think what matters more, looking at your numbers, straight two years, three years, doing these consistent things, it's all about just con consistency. No it, really, it, is. it really is. And consistency is more important than intensity. And and uh, Simon Sinek has that in his book, The Infinite Game. And he he lays that out where just being consistent over and over and over again will get you farther than going like a, a bat out of hell right out of the gate, right? And and it's it's so very powerful when you can get that consistency. I love the morning because you're freshest in the morning, right? You hopefully had a great night's sleep. You're physically, mentally refreshed. That's a great way to start your day in control. And I think that's so important, especially in COVID times of COVID, times of chaos, times of stress, times of anxiety, depression. So many people wake up and they're playing defense, right? Mm -hmm. I coach both my sons in basketball, right? That defensive stance, your, your quads are burning. And it's no wonder why if you start out playing defense, when your alarm clock goes off, the end of the day, you're exhausted. You've got nothing left and you're just wiped out and you flop mm -hmm. on the couch and you say, how can I do this today? Well, imagine the flip side. You prepare the night before, and then that first 30 to 40 minutes, you wake up physically, mentally, spiritually, nutritionally, you get these small wins, and then, then it's like rocket fuel. And, and you can take on anything that comes your way throughout the day because you're equipped, you're prepared, you're physically ready, you're mentally ready, and that's a powerful state to, uh, to truly be in. That's a uh, that's pretty awesome explanation um, <clears throat> to, to kind of like look at it from that perspective. And, you know, uh, I want to bring it back to the uh, original experience that we sort of had a couple of days ago or yeah, several days ago. And, you know, as an online entrepreneur doing what you do, you're on screen, you're standing up right now. Correct. I mean, I am. You're doing these kind of things, not what, 10, 12 hour days. Right. And end of the day, we're talking around 8 p.m. my time, maybe 8 p.m. your time, 9, 9 p.m. your time. And you're still going strong with the same attitude, with the same vit vitality, and the energy is just there. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's not like any of this stuff is made up. It's just like, it just, that's what gets you to go through there because you are an entrepreneur and you're always finding solutions for your clients, for whoever it is, for your families, you know, all these other things. So there's a lot of expenditure that way. And that's where high performance comes into play and sort of setting up these strategies and routines that you got going on is what's going to get somebody to cross that finish line every day for the rest of their life. Does that make yeah. sense? Yeah, I, I would agree with you. And, and so many people ask me, how the heck do you get up before four o'clock? And, and Juan, we were on, on a, a mastermind call a couple weeks ago and it's seven o'clock at night and I am on fire still at that point. Well, I, I, I treat my body, I treat my mind like a Ferrari, like a, a sports car. And if I'm going to go fast, I better exercise, I better eat right, I better do all the things that set me up for success. And, and if you do that, it has an amazing impact on what you can produce on a daily basis and how you can live your life, how you can be grateful for each day and, and try and squeeze every ounce of, of life out of the the days that that we get right mm -hmm. the gifts that that we get so uh, you know it's it's just trying to show people a different way because so many people are stuck and they're unhappy they're frustrated they're they're thinking i can't do this that's bullshit you you can do it you just have to commit fully and by trying to lead by example not lead by a book that i read mm -hmm doing it myself, showing you that I can meditate three straight years, that I can go take a snow bath when it's 25 degrees out and be f on fire. Hopefully that opens the eyes to the possibilities that are out there for people because I guarantee you, you can do it. You just haven't fully committed. You haven't burned the boats and you haven't gotten somebody that can guide you and make sure you're doing it from an accountability perspective. 
And that's, that's why you're not successful. But every person has that fire, that passion, that greatness inside of them. 100%. I mean, that is without a doubt, like my philosophy in life, but there is a law of averages. Not everybody's going to get there. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody will. And that's just because of the mentality, because negativity is overcomes positivity on a daily basis. You know, you just hear negative, negative things that you can't do what you cannot do. And so it overrides that system. And it's like, and then that belief system just triggers that. And that's why I wanted to interview you on my live, but now you're interviewing on this side, but we're going to share it to my audience. And I want to, that's what I said. I wanted to bring you down to earth because seeing all these things is going to be like, man, that's great and all, but how the heck can I do that? Right. And so I just want to ask you, like, what is your background? Where do you come from? What is your story? So I was I was in corporate America for about 20 years and uh, almost oh, six sorry. years. <laughs> That's all right. I'm not there anymore. Um, but uh, I was there for about 20 years. And, and six years ago, I lost my mom to breast cancer. And that was kind of that transformational moment where I got punched in the gut, cut at the knees. And it, it, when you watch the woman that brought you into this world, take her last breath, it, it changes you. And luckily, I took that experience and I used that change to impact people in a positive manner, right? And, and I knew watching her pass that every single day was a gift and I wanted to inspire and lead others. So right after that, about 11 months after I, I lost my job in corporate America, I was told I was losing my job and, and I went uh, out on my own to become an entrepreneur and what kind of organically grew out of that was high performance coaching, right? How to, how to set yourself up for success, morning fire, how to bookend your days at night in the morning, live by the mantra, rise, fight, love, repeat, rise like a Phoenix from the ashes, reborn each day, fight for your physical fitness, mental fitness, nutritional fitness, love yourself. Most importantly, love all those around you. And then that just repetition piece. So those things that you do on a daily basis become habits and then you don't have to think about them. And it's just a powerful way to, uh, to live. So that's, uh, yeah, that's my journey. And now it's just doing it day in, day out. But Juan, I will tell you, listen, I am human as well. And I have days where I, I don't want to get up. And I hit the snooze button, I think a week or two weeks ago, and I was pissed off. Mm. Because here I am, a high performance coach. How could I hit the snooze button? Well, listen, we're all human beings, right? Nobody wakes up every single day like I'm ready to go. I was just watching a podcast interview I did with Evan, Evan Carmichael and he's like, listen, Tony Robbins, Evan Carmichael, Jeff Wickersham, Juan, we, we don't all wake up like that, but how do you trigger yourself? How do you fall back to your habits and rituals to do those things that you know can light you up day in, day out? That's how, that's how you, you're, you're gonna be much more successful. Mm, I love that, man. Yeah, thanks for bringing that uh, backstory back over here. And uh, it, usually it's something like that that it takes, right? 20 years in corporate, losing a, a close relative, uh, someone special to you. But the good thing about what I'm hearing right now is that <clears throat> your people, the audience, the people who are going to be listening to this, they don't have to go through the traumatic, traumatic experience. You're basically saving them that traumatic experience of 20 years in corporate of you know losing something before they can make the changes like no like what i guess the message that you're trying to say is like you can do that now you you absolutely can and and pain is a tremendous motivator for people to move and most often people move from pain mm -hmm. rather than towards pleasure uh, and and mine was pain but if i could just impact one person to start to change their, their morning habits and rituals, start to think about things a little bit differently and, and make a positive impact, then, then it's the ripple effect, right? Where they could impact other people and it just continues to, to grow. And if I can save anyone from, from having to go through that pain, that experience and, and change their habits and rituals and set them up for success, then, then that's my mission. And, and my mission truly is to impact 1 million lives in my, uh, in my lifetime through, through what I do. Yeah, I don't think um, I don't think anybody can doubt that with the sincerity that comes out of your voice. First of all, for knowing you, like the, the, what makes you different than maybe most other high performance coaches out there is that you really care, and you can feel that in your voice. You can hear that, and you can't fake that. So, I think a good question for people is: Can you guys tell that Jeff actually really cares about your success? 
And the answer to me indefinitely is yes. Right? You're gonna get me choked up, man. I, I mean, that's 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 what it's about every day, right? I, I wake up and and want to be in a grateful state, in a grateful place, and and I quite honestly, I'm grateful for every day. I write my journal every morning. I'm just grateful for another sunrise and another day, another opportunity, and and that's that's there's beauty in that, yeah. and I wish so many more people would understand that beauty and be in the present moment and. Rise, fight, love, repeat on a daily basis, and and it's an amazing way to uh, to unlock your potential, as well as have an impact of all those around you, and and have that be that be that beacon of positivity. Yeah, man. And uh, I know sometimes we get choked up when it comes down to like hitting those things, but those are the sort of like the signs of the authenticity that you have going on, and um, I think people will really feel that. You know, and I just wanted to ask you another thing was, you know, you've done so much, but what would be your like top two major accomplishments that I guess you're like, man, I'm really proud of this. I'd say writing a book would be number one um, because I am not very good with English and writing. My my late mother, it's ironic because my late mother was a reading specialist and, and an English teacher and I hated to read and write growing up. But here I, I wrote a book. Luckily, I had a great editor who who helped me th through the process. But that was during COVID, being able to go through that process and writing a book was uh, was an amazing accomplishment. And then just consistency, right? Hitting meditation today, three years straight, having that discipline to be able to do that and accomplish it. I, I'm I'm just appreciating the moment today that, that I got to three, three years and I'm going to continue on, but, but reaching that, that milestone is definitely uh, something I'm proud of. Yes, my ass. Um, why would you say the morning routine is so important to people's success? It's not talked about very often, right? It's not taught in schools, elementary school, middle school, college. Nobody really says, Hey, how do you start your day? How do you set yourself up for success? And, and it's, it's, real world lessons. And as we said before, you are freshest in the morning, right? Mentally, physically, how you start out that, that first part of your day is critical to the rest of it, right? You have a choice, right? And I, I always think it's like a path and a road, right? You come to a Y and a road and you can choose that success path or that kind of everyday ordinary path. And, and I think so many people want that success path, want that great, want that extraordinary life, but they're so used to turning right and going down that that ordinary path, uh, and and if you can make that choice right when you wake up, wake up that this is going to be an amazing day. I'm going to kick butt. I'm starting. I'm doing these things. I'm waking up physically, mentally, spiritually, nutritionally. You, you, you're just setting you, you're setting the tone for the day, and that's just so important. It's like you're commanding your your subconscious and just basically everything about you to do what it is that you need to do, so you get the results that you want to get. That's it. You hit it right there. Mm -hmm. yep. And uh, I guess what what are you currently working on right now? You already finished your book. You're still doing your podcast. But what are you working on right now? Yeah, right now I am uh, I'm looking for men that want that next level in 2021. So I have a Kings of Sparta mastermind that I'm rolling founding members where we're going to be accountable to ourselves and our brothers on a daily basis to grow professionally and personally. And uh, we're going to have a weekly mastermind call as well where we can connect. And it's it's going to be a group of like-minded men. And Juan, I think you had mentioned all the negativity out there, right? It's it's rampant everywhere. And it's so difficult to be out on an island and trying to grow when you're, you're bombarded by that negativity. So this is going to be a group of men who want to grow personally and professionally, who want to surround themselves with like-minded men who are on that same journey. And it's an amazingly powerful thing when everybody's working and that positivity, that energy just can continue to, uh, to swell and grow. So if anybody's watching, anybody's interested, they can go out to www.kingsofsparta.com, check out a uh, video, some of the details, and, and book a call to, uh, to talk to me. Yeah, man. Um, I think, and just leaving it off right now, it's been a great talk. I think what would be like two of your most significant results that you got in people while, while you've been coaching them? So one would be I took uh, 
a gentleman through my morning fire 10 week kind of signature program where you're, where you're bookending your days, you're, you're consistent for 70 days, 10 weeks. He got completely off any anxiety, depression medication. Wow. So he got off of that. And again, it goes back to control, right? The morning time was, was the most difficult time. Anxiety is the highest because you're waking up and if you're playing defense, it's, oh, what do I need to do? What am I worried about? So that would be number one. Then another, uh, a woman that actually went through my program lost 20 pounds in 10 weeks, only exercising 10 minutes a day, wow. just part of their morning fire. And she was blown away by it. But I've had others that have gone through the program that have seen that as well, because it's, again, the consistency factor. You're doing it day in, day out. It's part of your routine. You have a different mindset. So those would be two, uh, two amazing examples of great results that the clients have gotten. Man, that's super awesome. I guess ending this out, who is this not for? Not for complainers, mm -hmm. right? If, if you're going to complain and not make the choice to choose to be better, it's, it's, it's not for you, right? I, I want people that want better results, that want more out of life, but they haven't figured out how to get there yet, right? right? It's, it's this itch on the back of their neck and they're like, I know I want more. I know I can do more but I'm stuck and I don't wake up in a powerful way in the morning, right? I wake up, I'm maybe I don't get a good night's sleep. I throw myself in the shower. I drink a cup of caffeinated coffee and that's how I start my day and, and I want to change, right? So, so somebody that truly wants change knows they have more in them. They have untapped potential that they want to unlock. That's definitely who it's for. Right on, man. And I know from the deep, deep bottom of your heart that you're not going to let these people fail even when they want to quit, you're not going to let them quit. So that's the, you know, that's the difference between you and somebody else that you really do care. You can have a good amount of time with you, right? To be like, hey, like, this is what you're working on. This is what you got going on. Let's do this and get the results that you need for 2021. Because if 2020 has taught us anything is that you got to survive, but also you got to thrive. And it starts right here with your habits, with your routines and the environment that you surround yourself with. Jeff, thank you so much for giving us these 22 minutes. You're, you're a badass. You care a lot about the people that you got going on. And let's see if people are willing, willing to make a change to come in and say like, you know what? I need help with my morning routines. That's what's been missing my whole life. And this is the guy to do it. So thank you so much, Jeff. I appreciate your time and we'll be hitting up later. Juan, I appreciate you. Having a great day, brother. Thank you.